Hi right, guys, welcome back. Um, today I've got a, uh, a request of a problem, and this is the uh, requested problem that's up on the uh, uh, board there. Um, <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to uh, calculate the volume, and they want this volume to be in cubic centimeters. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, you got to recognize that this is a density equals mass over volume problem. So let me write that down. Okay. The equation that you need to know is density equals uh, mass divided by volume. Always remember that density is a conversion factor. You either want to start with mass or you want to start with volume as you're given. If you're not given mass and volume and you're given the density, use the density as your conversion factor. But if you're given both uh, your mass and your volume, just stick the two over each other and make sure the units will match up. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, in this problem we know we're looking for volume, so that means that more than likely they're going to tell us the mass. As we read on, they tell us they're going to give us 254 kilograms uh, for a mass, and this is for lead. So, um, this is actually a good thing. And they give us uh, a density over here. Well, all that we have to do is simply come down here and start writing what we know. Well, I know not to start with density. I know that density is my conversion factor. Uh, in my dimensional analysis, I can flip this as often as I want and where I'm where I need to. So let's go ahead and start with this. I'm going to start with 200. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to start with 2.54 kilograms of lead. So two point Five four. Sorry, I got a code. Uh, kilograms. Of lead, and let's label this. This is lead. P, uh, B, and I'm. This, since this is my given, I'm gonna stick it over one. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do next is I'm going to. Uh, convert my kilograms into grams. Now let me explain to you why I'm doing that. Notice that on the density where my blue dot is, notice my density uh, has grams in it. Well, the mass that's given to me has kilograms in it. That's the reason I have to convert it. So down here I want to write one kilogram. And the reason why I'm writing one kilogram there is, well look at the units diagonally. If this is uh, kilograms here, kilograms is going to go down here. Now I need grams to go up on the top. And the reason why I need grams to go up on the top up here is I need them to go on the bottom down here for the density that's given to me here. So I know that there's a thousand uh, grams in one kilogram. So I've made that conversion factor. So now I'm in grams. Since I'm in grams now, now I can use the given information up here, which is 11.342 grams of coarse lead. Over well, what's going on, on top? Well, one, one what? One uh, cubic centimeter. So I'm going to write one cubic centimeter. Now let's stop and see what they wanted the volume units to be in. What is the volume in cubic centimeters? Oh, well, we're done. So all we have to do is get a calculator and punch that in. So let's get one. Uh, say. Let me minimize this screen. Okay. There's my TI-83 calculator. How awesome is that? I've used multiple TI emulators, and probably the VTI has been the best, even on the Linux version. Now, uh, they have a, a TI-89 version that's really awesome for, the, uh, for Linux, but I've had so many problems with the others that I just... I need to use an 83 all the time, so I just stick with using VTI. Anyway, let's go back to our problem. Let's punch this in. Okay, turn the calculator on. 
Okay. Let's type it in. 2.54 times 1,000 times 1. <laughs> no need to put that in. So press Enter. Notice that the only number that I have on the bottom is this 11 number. Uh, that's a 1 and that's a 1. No sense in dividing by it. So I'm going to divide by 11.3 four two and press enter I have my answer let me write it down <laughs> excuse me two hundred and twenty three point what was that number uh, nine four six all right nine four six now all this is not my answer okay because all I need, according to uh, sig fig rules, is three sig figs. So, two hundred and twenty-four would be my answer. Two hundred twenty-four what? Hush puppies? No, it would be uh, cubic centimeters. That would be my volume. So there's my volume. V equals. Alright guys, I hope this one was helpful. Y'all have a great day.